offence to what I was trying to say within the message. And their friends, yeah, on Facebook, um, step in to really um, understand that this is an injustice that's been going on from the beginning of time and it's still prevalent today. And it's hurtful, yeah, and it's the, the playing field is not balanced. And at the end of the day, we all need to speak up. And there's too many of us black folks. What's, what's that saying? There's so many um, skin folk, but not kin folk. Yeah. You know, yeah. So many black people out here. You, you, ain't, you ain't supporting your people. You're, you're more than happy to stay at home. And as long as it doesn't affect Thank you, yeah, as long as you're okay, as long as you're able to go home and turn on your light and have your shower and watch your little TV because you feel you're living in the Western world in, in England, that it doesn't affect you, but it does affect you. It affects us all. It affects Absolutely. our children. Ancestors are watching us, and right now they're disappointed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. Come on, and I, That we need to come together as black people. And let me tell you something. This is another thing because Rihanna said it yeah she said it the other day like we've got friends from all different nationalities and race and if they like you if they want to break bread with you you know what I'm saying to you they need to pull up as well 100. you know what I'm saying to you no you know what I'm saying to you and for the, all of this um social media bullshit you know what I'm saying to you they need to be doing it behind the um, closed doors as well you understand what I'm saying to you and really start speaking up on the social industry um, um injustice with with, with what's going on today, I think it's disgusting, and I want to call out all of them. You understand what I'm saying to you, Stormzy? You know what I mean? He's got a, he's got big clout. He needs to be speaking up. You understand what I'm saying to you, Stormzy, Nole, all of them people. You understand? Seth London, you? come on. I'm sure they're doing their thing. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I'm sure they're speaking up in some ways, but I need them to speak up more. You understand what I'm saying to you? Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We're, we're good people. And that's all I gotta say, really. You know. Well, thank you, Shiloh. Stop yes. the silence. One hundred percent. You've given us your voice, and hopefully, with you and Sano giving your voice, everybody else is as well. So this is what we want. This ain't about yeah. attention grabbing. This ain't about me and Kemet. This is about spreading that awareness and people coming forward. And we've had beautiful people like you hit us up, like Kemet said, asking us to, you know. Um, advocating for us to do crowdfunding to do this, they want to send money to Africa, they want to send clothes, supplies you know, they want us to rent a house in China so that people can have somewhere to live, so we're working on all of this so anyone that's got any ideas or solutions come to us, help us out We don't me, anyone that knows me and Kemet, we don't have all the money in the world, but we will put our money where our mouth is, or our mouth where our money is, whatever <laughs> however it goes, and we're doing what we can do, so it takes one warfare going on right now it's a spiritual warfare thing and people of color are getting the brunt of what's going on Absolutely. now and it's not fair. and it's wrong and we will rise because we've been rising from the beginning of time do you understand what i'm saying to you and read between the lines when i posted what i posted it wasn't even about a black and white people no. i'm saying what i'm saying it i'm saying at the end of the day yeah no one should be stepping on nobody to get above, yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. So at the end of the day, you know, I mean, we as black people, and I'm talking about black people, need to come together because too much of us black people are scared. Stop being scared, yeah? You're too scared to speak up, yeah? Because you want to lose your followers or you think, <laughs> so you don't want to say because, um, you know, whoever, yeah, that's what I'm saying to you, the powers that be, or whoever, or your friends, or your white girlfriend, or your white boyfriend, or whatever, yeah, that's what I'm saying to you, stop being scared, yeah, speak up and speak your truth, yeah, exactly. that's what I'm saying to you, that's all I'm going to leave you guys with, stop being scared, black people, and speak up, yeah, that's what I'm saying to you, you know what I mean, anyway, people, I'm gone, love and peace. light, love and light, thank you, Shiloh, thank you so much, peace, gone, love you, bye, wow, Kim, look at that, <laughs> oh good. my god, so can someone are... tell live on in if you can catch hold of us because I can't see anybody saying anything within the thing it seems to be stuck oh no they are we need um Gar Gally Henry 35 said we need to stop bashing each other it doesn't help really? um I don't think stuck I haven't got any of that your internet's been playing up okay well don't worry it's all going off people are wanting to talk on here and be live Who's, the, who's this? Oh, okay. 
Duchess P. Hey, stop the silence, Duchess P. Stop the silence. Stop the silence. Thank you. <laughs> you lot are amazing. <laughs> and stop it now well done to show and to Kemet hi Kemet thank you okay so I'm Duchess P I'm from Lock EMG and I'm standing behind the fight for what's happening to the blacks in Chinese in China um, so I say stop the silence and I'm calling out straight away no hitching and bum button Idris Elba I'm calling you out you're African and your wife is African. Argument done. Thank you, Duchess. Thank you. Do you have you got any questions? Do you want to say anything more? Or? No, I just wanted to say that um, me, I ain't looking back. And my son is in the, the next generation of young coders, so uh, he's going to be influential when he's older. Yeah. So I'm not letting anything get in his way at all. Exactly. So I'm right, I'm right behind you guys, yeah? Thank, no, don't be behind us. Be beside us. Right, don't be behind us. Be beside us. Okay, so, yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Duchess P. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'll just speak to you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I can't get <laughs> this thing stuck on my thing. Um, Shyla Minor said, yes. Yeah. Selenite Manager said, yes, Duchess. Um, Can you pin, put, pin the number and I'll see if it comes up in the thing? Okay. Because my thing's just stuck. Um, right about now, we're going to call in Brother Mandingo. And get him on the line to see um hear his opinion on 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 um what's going on with our people and how we can find solutions so we probably have him on for about 15 20 minutes you're gonna call him on your phone no he's calling on your phone that's okay the number, that's the number he has isn't it okay cool all right cool so what, what time is he calling no you called him like you did yesterday oh, you want me to call him? okay okay who called him on Monday? Was it me or you? I can't even remember. No, I called him on Monday, but it was because you wanted him to go live, but he doesn't have your number to call. Hey, live today. It's the same process. Okay. Yeah. But we'll um, have him for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay. And also as well, because we a lot of people are, are contacting me and came in and wanted to speak on the show this, this evening, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Kemet's um, Insta after this, okay? So if you all want to join on, if you all want to join on there as well, just let you know. So it's Kemet Imani two zero one seven. So I'll just tag her. It's there. Kemet seventeen. Kemet K E M E T twenty seventeen. So if Jeanette, if you can pin that in, please. I've just done that. Oh great! I have, this thing's frozen on my part. You're fine. We can see we can see you, but um, officially vegetarians. You can see now, yeah. Tony, hi, Amari, Arts, hi, Pamela J. That's what it was. So it's coming up now. Still stop there. Hi, uh, hello, brother Mendingo. Good evening to you once again. Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we are not live now. We're live now, yes. Are you are you good okay. to go or you need us to call you back? Um just give me two minutes then, okay? All right, no worries. All right, no. Oh, okay. So if anyone wants to call in in the meanwhile, if anyone wants to call again, it's entirely up to you. Uh I just wanted to say, Kemet, um, piggybacking off of what you said before in terms of I don't know if I mentioned it, but my thing was in terms of why, you know, when you said your some people asked you why are people why are why are africans in china anyway hold on a minute african people have been traveling this world long before anyone else so how is it okay for everyone else to travel and go to different countries but we're not so it doesn't matter what the situation is or what crisis is we should as a people be allowed to travel wherever we want to travel just like everyone else and this is part of stop the mm -hmm. silence like it's stop the silence with everything we are people we shouldn't have to profess and have to shout and fight about being people, being humans. Like, we are in the year 2020. Everyone seems to think that it's okay now. This should show you that it's not okay now. It's not okay. People are questioning, why are we in Africa? Why are we in China anyway? No, 
Like, so why are you not questioning why are Europeans in Jamaica, in Africa, in other countries? Why are we questioning where black people are? Never question mm -hmm. what a question asks. We and it's us. We're always questioning well, why are the blacks in China anyway? Well, why we don't question why is the Chinese in Jamaica? Thank uh, you. Why are the Chinese in Africa? I don't hear them say that. And this is what sickens me about our people. And just so, not to cut you, but when I talk about them brothers with the te mobile phone industry, I've got to find out who they are and what they're telling me about because it went off my phone and their YouTube channel and the information because I, I, apparently all Chinese people are writing up on there saying, what do they think this is? Wakanda, uh, Black Panthers. They think they can are you for real? I didn't know that. Running them down, yeah. And running them down. Cheeky. It's this, it's this, like, I, for me, like, Kemet, seriously, it's just unbelievable. Like, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, or oh, sometimes when I go somewhere, like you said, we were talking about people following us around in shops and, you know, the Chinese following us. They want us to buy their products, but they want to follow us around. They want us to buy their products and they want to question us. And I'm like, because of this, because you really are that shallow, ignorant and and blatantly evil, yeah, why you are going to be um, just horrible and nasty because of the colour of someone's skin. Mm -hmm. I, I can't get my head around it. I cannot, I can't get my head around it. I can't. I can't. And it don't make no sense. And our own black people are going to say, what are you doing there anyway? I get it in the sense of, if, we, if you know they don't like us, why are you there? kind of thing but at the end of the day like i said we're still in the year 2020 and we're people. supposed to have moved on say that to our parents and our african people while they're here because we know they don't like them here while we're here we know we're not exactly. like them here. We're unique to china so it's a question it's, yourself. It, it, right yeah they know they're beating up black boys every minute and the injustice is when they go to the schools i mean go to court we know because of institutionalized racism black children mm -hmm. especially black boys a number one for exclusions okay so why why are you still here question yourself why are you still here you understand me Jeanette, can you really? do this it's because i can't my thing's frozen for some reason okay henry 435 how do i phone if, um you can set zero seven five four nine three two six five six five i hope everyone heard that i have pinned it uh grave 779 supremacy is real 100 percent I tell Burger UK, well said, my sisters. Thank you, I tell Burger. Thanks for supporting us. Um, that burger looks really nice, by the way, <laughs> from what I can see on the screen. We'll have to check you out. But thank you, everyone, for joining in and supporting us. This is what it's about supporting us, supporting you, supporting our African brothers and sisters. We will make a change and we will make a stand. Uh, we, you know, we just have to. We, we just have to keep going at the end of the day. Is that you got a call, Ken? I've got a call one second. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't this. cut off now. <laughs> <laughs> so let me oh. go back and see if he's um, available. And let's get him on the line. I'll tell you, you know what I'm like. Greetings, Ojambo. Greetings, greetings. Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, Friday, 17th April 2020. Um, every, everything is okay so far because despite trying circumstances, otherwise we have to do what we have to do to go through, you know? Yes. Yes, we do, Brother Mandingo. Yes, 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 sister, come in. yes, and um, shun it, right? Yeah, good evening. Evening, right. So, um, uh, so go ahead, we can... Right, okay, so just, just, to, just to keep you up to speed, Brother Mandingo, this evening what we've been speaking about is the atrocities and the barbaric behaviour to, um, towards our African brothers and sisters in China you know, as well as the rest of the world. But right now, predominantly, that's going on in China. And myself and Kemet, as you know, we decided to make a video. 
and just bring awareness to it, bring light to it and let everyone know what's going on. And we have had so many people contact us and advocate mm -hmm. for us to do fundraising. People want us to rent a house out there so that we can grab all our brothers and sisters and put them in accommodation so that we can feed them. Whatever it is they need, also, um, we're having... Don't forget mm -hmm. to think of, and on the flip side, we still had a couple of people saying that we're attention-seeking because we did the video. Right, and yes, yeah, Kemet said, so like all of that stuff, we've had some great people contact us and still contact, contacting us now, phoning in. And on the flip side of that, as Kemet just said, Goddess Kemet said, we've had actually people, our own people, making suggestions as though we're looking to grab the limelight, we're looking to grab attention, the focus on us rather than what this plight is about. So we've had to deal with the, the ramifications of that as well. Will, will you know... Um... In, in everything, you always have some people who, because they are jealous that other people are doing things, they try to put down people who are doing things. So I'm not surprised that both of you have had that reaction from some people because the reality of life is that you have people who are positive and people who are negative. And part of the negativity is jealousy of other people because in terms of what is called limelight then, obviously, with what you're doing in terms of dealing with the situation facing Africans in China right now, you are definitely in the spotlight, in the limelight, because you're dealing with a subject which is a burning subject because it concerns Africans. And if you were not dealing with this subject, which has to be dealt with, then it would be other people who would be dealing with the subject. And you have other people who are dealing with the same subject. So obviously, both of you have names. You are who you are. So it goes without saying, that because of the work that you are doing, you must come to the attention of people. Exactly. Because you are doing the necessary work. In, 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 in a nutshell, what I'm saying is that you always have jealous and negative people in everything. And most important thing is that you must not allow yourselves to be distracted and put off by these individuals because what you find with a lot of them too is that they have nothing to contribute positively can can i just um a, a lot of people have said good evening to you this evening brother mandingo um and likewise good evening yeah, Uchabu, um, which is kiswahili greetings to you okay also. so greet I'll, I'll shout them out greaves big up brother mandingo selenite management big up brother mandingo um <laughs> Um, we've had somebody, uh, Ital Berger said, yeah, big up to Brother Mandingo. And then Grief79 um, said, Queens, you are doing a great service. Not everyone is on the same page. You can only do as you do. Those that overstand, feel and empathize with the situation. Our people are suffering. I will support you. Shiloh Malone, I have a question for the viewing audience. Are you, are you, are Malcolm or a Martin? Are you a Malcolm, a Malcolm or a Martin um, for the viewing audience? That's from Shiloh Malone. Um, provoking, provoking thought said he is a Malcolm. Duchess P said power to us. Shiloh Malone said Malcolm X. Um, Shiloh Malone said much respect, Brother Mandingo. And Duchess P said um, Brother Mandingo, big up to you. Um, Marshane, formerly known as Wayne Marshall, has joined us. Thank you very much. Bless up, Mandingo. I'm sending the links around as we speak. Really good show. Really good. Um, Grieve779 said Malcolm. And Selenite Management said Malcolm. So, yeah. Just wanted to shout, let, let everybody know that we are seeing their comments and everything. Sorry, Mandingo. So continue. No, 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 no. That's fine because you're just acknowledging people yeah. who are, you know, involved. And I want to say... Um, to everyone who has hailed me up and yeah. for people who are supporting this show this yeah. 
Yes. Um, we just had another phone call from. Uh, you're live on um, the T Raw show, and what would you like to say? What's your name and who are you calling from? Oh, stop the silence. This is uh, Gift of Abundant Love. This is Gift of Abundant Love, Go. We are located in Atlanta, Georgia. And we just want you guys to know that you're doing an amazing, amazing job. Our hearts went out when we saw the video on YouTube. It was uh, sent to us by uh, Vivica a and who um, volunteers with us on a regular basis. And so we just want to say amazing, amazing, amazing. And um, wow. We heard that some things were going on, but we didn't, really didn't realize that it was that bad. And so for you guys to be doing what you're doing, we really do want to take our hats off to you guys. If there's anything that you'd like us to do, um, if there's anything that we can do for you guys, if we can work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis and help this cause, please reach out um, to Vivica or one of the others. I'm going to go ahead and link the information over to you. Okay. And I, I heard that we're shouting out or we're, um, we're giving up names. Is yes. that correct? Yes, sis. Okay. So, Akon, where is your voice? Akon, where is your voice? Bless up, ladies. Bless wonderful, up. Wonderful, wonderful. Bless Thank you, Vivica. Thank you. Give them abundant love. Thank you, sis. Thank you. We get keep in contact. Gift of Abundant Love, Go, which is a 501c non-profit charity. We, su we support you. Thank you very much, Thank sis. you so much. Thank you. God bless you. From America, you know. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and, and, and I'm just saying, I... I didn't really hear, you know, the reception. I, I didn't really hear what she had to say. Really, the reception wasn't so good. I could, I can hear what you're saying. Uh, oh. but, and okay, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you. you can, yeah, I'll yeah, tell you. So that was um, Gift of Abundant Love. They're a um, 501C charity in Atlanta. And they've seen the video and they've seen what myself and Kemet are doing. And they felt compelled to call in and basically um, say stop the silence and join the campaign and they want to support us in um, you know, the crusade or however you want to put it they want us to support us in what we're doing however they can help so yeah that's what they just said okay yeah yeah that's good I mean I mean and, and, and then you know that's a continuation of the work that Marcus Gavi um, taught and practiced in that Wherever we are in the world as Africans, we have to work together across whatever um, national um, boundaries, etc. Because we are one people irrespective of our location on the planet, you know. Yeah. So this is the only way that we can be um, liberated and maintain our liberty as a people is by working together you know, and no matter where we are. And this is why communication is key. So this forum exemplifies the fact that we are communicating because communicating is a vital part of us working together as, 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 as people. And okay. Talking about the situation, um, let, let me just say that racism which Africans are facing in China now is nothing new. That has been going on for a long, long, for a long, long time. I mean, we as okay. Africans face racism from, from other races, be the Chinese, Indians, Europeans, Jews, Arabs, etc. And let me say something where the specifically where the Chinese are concerned. The Chinese are the largest race in terms of population in the world today. They're about 1.3 billion. Um, 
following them are Indians, who are about 1.2 billion. And we as African people, we are about a billion or a little over. And when we say African people, we're talking Africans at home in Mother Africa and abroad. And when I talk about the Chinese, I'm talking about the Chinese in China and abroad. And with Indians, the same situation. So the Chinese are about 18% of the world's population. And in mainland China, they are about 92%. Because you have other ethnic groups in mainland China, like the Uyghurs and others and so on. But the Chinese, who are also referred to as the Han, H-A-N, the Han Chinese, the Han, they are what we call Chinese. They are 92% in, their, in, 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 in China itself. And um, other groups who form the other 8%. Now, we are a lot of our people are facing racism currently. You know, the, the scurrilous lie that they are the bringers of coronavirus when we know that it started in Wuhan. Is that there is a place in southern China, the southern city called Guangzhou. That's G U A N G Z H O U. I'll say that again. Guangzhou. G U A N G Z H O U. It's also called in China. Little Africa. And the reason why it's called Little Africa, and it's a prosperous city, is that it is the home to Asia's largest African migrant population. Not just China, but the largest African migrant population in Asia is in this city. And that's why they call it Little Africa. Okay. And guess how many they are? Just a little more than 15,000. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So what it shows you, that not only the Chinese, but other people in Asia, be it Vietnam, Korea, etc., and so on, they do not entertain and like people who are not of their race, yeah. ethnicity. Brother Mandingo, Brother, Man Brother Mandingo, we only have, it's been a very good show. We know it was going to be a hot topic. Um, we are going to jump over to Kemet's um, live now because we only have 16 seconds remaining. Um, okay, but, 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 but I'm glad that you... We'll, I'm calling back. we'll call you back. We'll call you back, yeah? Okay. Everybody jump over to...